The Lone Ranger is a timeless television series that captivated audiences with its tales of justice and heroism in the Old West. The show featured a talented cast that brought the beloved characters to life. In this video, we'll delve into the lives and careers of the cast members, shedding light on their contributions to the show and their subsequent endeavors. We'll also explore how each one passed away. Join Facts First as we present how each of the Lone Ranger cast members died. Clayton Moore Clayton Moore was an actor best known for his iconic portrayal of the masked hero, the Lone Ranger. Born September 14, 1914 in Chicago, Moore developed a deep passion for acting from a young age. He began his career in the industry as a child model, appearing in various advertisements and magazine covers. Moore's journey into acting took off when he landed his first film role in 1937, appearing as a supporting actor in the movie Jesse James Rides Again. Throughout the 40s, he continued to work in both film and television, often portraying sidekick or henchman characters in westerns and action films. But Clayton Moore's career experienced a defining moment when he took on the role of the Lone Ranger in the 1949 TV series of the same name. His portrayal of the masked crime fighter, along with his trusty horse Silver and his catchphrase, hi -yo, Silver Away, became synonymous with the character, captivating audiences around the world. Though it should be noted there is debate about whether the catchphrase is hi-ho silver, not hi-yo silver. Moore's embodiment of the Lone Ranger extended beyond the screen. He understood the importance of the character's positive influence on children and embraced the role off-camera as well. He became an ambassador for the Lone Ranger, appearing at countless public events, parades, and charity functions, always in character and dressed as the iconic hero. Despite the immense popularity of the Lone Ranger, Moore faced a legal battle in the 1950s when he was replaced in the TV series due to a contract dispute, but he eventually won the rights back to wear the Lone Ranger mask and resumed the role in a later TV series, The Lone Ranger Rides Again, in 1955. Clayton Moore's portrayal of the Lone Ranger left an indelible mark on popular culture, and his dedication to the character made him an enduring icon. Moore continued to act in various films and television shows throughout his career, including appearances in The Lone Ranger and The Lost City of Gold, and the Wild Wild West. In recognition of his contributions to the industry, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1987. He remained a beloved figure and continued to make appearances at conventions and events until his passing December 28, 1999 in Los Angeles. He had suffered a heart attack that day at his home in Calabasas and died shortly thereafter in a local hospital. John Hart John Hart was an actor who, like Clayton Moore, is best known for his portrayal of the Lone Ranger. He was born December 13, 1917, in L.A. He began his acting career in the late 30s, making appearances in small roles in various films. He gained recognition for his talent and versatility as an actor, and his career started to gain momentum. Throughout the 40s, he appeared in numerous films, often showcasing his skills in action and Western genres. However, it was in 1952 that he achieved widespread fame when he took on the role of the Lone Ranger in the television series. He replaced Clayton Moore, who had left due to that contract dispute. Hart stepped into the iconic role with enthusiasm and dedication, donning the mask and becoming the masked hero for a short period of time. Although his portrayal of the Lone Ranger was met with mixed reactions from fans who were accustomed to Moore's rendition, Hart brought his own charm and charisma to the character. He brought a fresh interpretation, emphasizing the Lone Ranger's determination and sense of justice. Despite his notable portrayal as the Lone Ranger, Hart's tenure was relatively short-lived. Clayton Moore eventually resolved his contract dispute and returned to the series. Hart graciously stepped aside, understanding the significance of Moore's connection with the character and the immense popularity he had garnered. Following his time as the Lone Ranger, Hart continued his acting career, appearing in various films and television shows throughout the 1950s and 60s. He showcased his versatility by taking on different roles, but never quite achieved the same level of fame he experienced during his time as the masked hero. In later years, Hart remained connected to the Lone Ranger legacy, often making appearances at fan conventions and events related to the character. He embraced his role in the series and the impact it had on popular culture. 
John Hart's acting career spanned several decades, and although he's most remembered for his portrayal of the Lone Ranger, he made valuable contributions to the entertainment industry beyond that iconic role. He passed away September 20th, 2009, in Rosarito, Mexico, at age 91. The cause of death was complications from dementia. His family respected his wishes of scattering his ashes in the Pacific Ocean. Jay Silverheels Jay Silverheels was a Canadian-American actor best known for his portrayal of Tonto. He was born as Harold J. Smith, May 26, 1912, on the Six Nations of the Grand River First Nation Reserve in Ontario, Canada. Growing up on the reservation, Silverheels developed a passion for sports, particularly lacrosse. His athletic abilities caught the attention of scouts, leading him to play professional lacrosse in both Canada and the U.S. But an injury cut his sports career short, and he turned his focus to acting in the late 30s. He began his career in Hollywood playing stereotypical Native American characters in films. He faced the challenges of typecasting, but always sought to bring depth and authenticity to his portrayals. Despite the limited opportunities and the prevailing stereotypes of the time, Silver Heels managed to showcase his talent as an actor. He reached the pinnacle of his career in 1949 when he was cast as Tonto. His portrayal was groundbreaking as he brought dignity, intelligence, and humanity to the character, challenging the prevailing stereotypes of Native Americans in the media. Working alongside Clayton Moore, Silver Heels created a dynamic on-screen partnership that captivated audiences worldwide. Together, they formed an iconic duo, representing justice and heroism in the Old West. The series aired for eight seasons, and Silver Heels' portrayal of Tonto left an indelible mark on popular culture. He became a role model for Native Americans, who saw themselves represented positively on television for the first time. Silver Heels' performance showcased the intelligence, resourcefulness, and bravery of the character, breaking barriers and fostering a sense of pride within Native American communities. After the series ended, Silver Heels continued his acting career, appearing in various films and TV shows throughout the 60s and 70s. He also dedicated himself to advocating for Native American rights and using his platform to raise awareness about social issues affecting indigenous communities. Jay Silverheels passed away March 5, 1980 of a stroke in Calabasas, California. He was only 67. Chuck Courtney Chuck Courtney was born July 23, 1930 in L.A. He began his acting career in the 50s, appearing in small roles in various films. He showcased his versatility by taking on a wide range of characters, often in the Western and action genres. His talent and dedication caught the attention of casting directors, leading to more significant opportunities. One of his most notable roles came in 1958 when he played Dan Reed, nephew of the Lone Ranger. His portrayal of the young and courageous Reed resonated with audiences, and he brought depth and charm to the role. He continued to act in various Western films and TV shows throughout the 50s and 60s. He appeared in movies like The Peacemaker and Fort Bowie, solidifying his presence in the Western genre. Chuck was also an accomplished rodeo performer. His love for the Western lifestyle and his skills in horsemanship added authenticity to his portrayals on screen. His acting career gradually slowed down in the 70s, but he remained connected to the industry through occasional appearances in film and on television. He also continued his involvement with rodeo events, where he showcased his horsemanship and shared his love for the Western way of life. Sadly, Chuck took his own life January 20th, 2000 in Cathedral City, California. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite cast member of The Lone Ranger? Let us know in the comments section below.